Mayor Pete says that he would like to decriminalize all drugs, not just pot. Hi, thanks for watching. Today I want to talk about this story with Pete Buttigieg. Just came out on a Friday that he has decided, he's changed his mind, and he believes now that all drugs should be decriminalized. That's a it's an interesting take. Is it a desperate take? Well, let's take a look at the article. Here we are. This is the Daily Mail. And I do want to comment that it is interesting that this is not headline news on all American news sources that I'm having to go to the Daily Mail to get this information. But here we are. Pete Buttigieg wants to decriminalize possession of all drugs as he says the harsh criminal justice system has worsened what is a public health problem. Pete Buttigieg has said he wants to decriminalize all drugs, including ecstasy and meth. He says it's a justice problem and a health problem when you think about the adverse aspects on a child. Buttigieg said children growing up with parents behind bars makes them dramatically more likely to have an encounter with the criminal legal system. Well, that just makes sense. The South Bend, Indiana mayor said, in an effort to deal with what amounts to a public health problem, we have created an even bigger problem. Now, while that is true, while that's true, I'm not sure that this is the best uh, solution. Let's uh, read further. Pete Buttigieg says he would decriminalize all drugs if he were to be elected president. While some Democratic 2020 candidates have expressed views that align in regards to marijuana possession, Buttigieg said that even those with Class A drugs were not deserving of being locked up. I would not have said even five years ago what I believe now, which is that incarceration should not even be a response to drug possession, Buttigieg told the Des Moines Register on Monday. When asked, is that across the board, including meth or coke or ecstasy, by the editor of the Des Moines Register, Buttigieg replied about his view against incarceration for possession. That's right. That is an interesting take. And I am not sure myself how I feel about this. I haven't given it a ton of thought. Now, would making these drugs make a difference to me? Would I be more likely to use these drugs? Probably not. But the fact that they're illegal isn't what's stopping me. Because heroin is illegal, that's not the reason that I don't use heroin. I don't use heroin because I don't want to. And if I wanted to use it, I would, I would use it. And the law wouldn't stop me from using it anyway. So I don't know. This is, uh, this is really tricky. And it seems interesting that he hasn't presented this view earlier in his campaign. This is a new thing that he has exposed. One of the things with Pete Buttigieg is... He really hasn't given many details at all about any of his plans. And so this has come to light. And uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be popular. Now, we can speculate as to why he would do this. One of the weaknesses in his campaign, apparently, from what I've heard, is that he has pretty much zero support from... Uh, minority communities. And if his belief is by decriminalizing all drugs that that is going to get him more popularity in those communities, I'm not sure that that's the case. I don't think uh, people are going to buy into what he's selling. But who knows? It does seem a little desperate at this point to come up with a new idea like this and present it as something new for him. But 
I don't know. I don't know. I live here in Oregon. Uh, pot has been legal for a number of years. I don't think it's made much of a difference that I can see, other than the fact that now uh, you will smell it on the street more than you would in the past. But there were plenty of people smoking marijuana in public before it was decriminalized and made legal here in Oregon. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about this. There is a huge problem with uh, drug use, especially among the homeless population. I have collected needles from outside my house on the sidewalk, right in front of my house, I've, I've picked up needles. I don't think that necessarily these people need to go to prison for it, but something, something should be done. And I don't think that, I don't even know, because maybe going to prison would be the best thing for a heroin addict to, to, to get off the drug. I don't know. I am by no means an expert in this, uh, but probably some of you know more about this than me. I would really appreciate your opinion on this in the comments. Thanks. Peace. <laughs>